Latin America is a region where research and research publication is mainly government funded. Publishing is undertaken by the scholarly community. It has not been outsourced to commercial publishers. This has contributed to the development of a regional ecosystem of shared information resources in local language, Spanish and Portuguese, in local and regional publications that usually lack international visibility and access to participate in the global conversation of science. In some disciplines, a high percentage of research output is published in English in international journals, which is highly valued in the evaluation process of researchers, but in this case it lacks regional visibility and access for non-subscribers to commercial databases and non-English speaking, which are both frequent situations. Research output from countries is measured out of a set of journals indexed by Web of Science or Scopus. Only a very small percentage of peer-reviewed journals published in Latin America are included in those indexing services. A presence that has only improved slightly in the past decade according to a recent study by Juan Pablo Alperin from the Public Knowledge Project. Internet, the web and open access have provided the region with a unique opportunity to increase visibility and access to its research output. Open access has been increasingly incorporated into the publishing practices and policies have promoted building lists of quality journals within some countries and participating the, each country in regional non-commercial databases that act as platforms to help journals have online visibility, professionalize the production of journals and receive open access indicators. The main non-commercial databases in Latin America developed with, with public funds are Latindex, located at UNAM, the National Autonomous University of Mexico. Latindex is a directory with basic description of journals from the region. It reports 2,662 quality journals in the region compared with 1800 in the International Directory of Open Access Journals. Nearly half of these journals are from Brazil. From the 2662 registered in Latindex, approximately 1500 journals are available in open access in two regional non-commercial databases and publishing platforms. Cielo and Redalic, both supported with public funds. Open source software solutions, in particular the Open Journal System, have played a crucial role in open access publishing of individual journals as well as journal collections. We see here three main research universities from Latin America, the National Autonomous University of Mexico, UNAM, the University of Sao Paulo in Brazil, and the University of Chile, who have, each of them, a collection of more than 100 journals published by the university in the OGS platform. In Latin America, a region where we share two languages, Spanish and Portuguese, and we share many problems which need research input, open access builds upon a long-standing tradition of cooperative information system, many of them promoted by, by the United Nations organizations some decades ago. Here are examples of regional bibliographic information systems from the 70s and 80s that today are becoming subject repositories, adding full texts. More than half a million full texts today contributed by national focal points. 
In this past decade, slowly, we see a growing number of digital repositories, which started first for theses and journal articles. And we see growing collections of other formats with research results. As an example, in Claxo Social Science Digital Repository, books in open access are a very important collection. To promote regional cooperation among these digital repositories, the Inter-American Development Bank and Red Clara, which is the Latin American Cooperation of Advanced Networks, have promoted the creation of national systems of digital repositories. And two years ago started a Latin American Federation with those national system of digital repositories as members. The project is called La Referencia. Members of La Referencia are the national networks of digital repositories. Nine countries are already members of La Referencia and a regional harvester started a few months ago. La Referencia is part of the project of international relations of COAR, the Confederation of Open Access Repositories with Latin America. As has been explained in the literature, success of institutional repositories is related to strong mandates, as is the case of the mandate of the University of Liège that links deposit with the evaluation process. In Latin America, the open access policy are mostly recommendations of open access, more than mandates. The exception and what is outstanding in the region is the political decision to have national open access legislation approved in support of the green open access road. In contrast of very few weak and partial institutional policies, with the exception, as an example, the University of San Pablo, which has a mandatory institutional rep policy with very few other universities. In contrast with institutional repositories, we have national legislation that has recently been approved by Congress in Peru, Argentina and Mexico and is still in debate in Congress in Brazil. In all cases, legislation is in support of the creation of open access repositories for government-funded research results. How is the process of open access policies? in countries. As an example, here I describe the case of Argentina, where open access legislation has been, has been drafted by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, by an expert comi experts committee of which Claxo is a member together with universities and other research funding and uh, research organizations. The legislation has been approved last year. The implementation pro is in process. It requires developing interoperable, institutional, individual and cooperative repositories. It is interesting that the Ministry promotes the gathering of several universities in geographical locations to work together institutional repositories and share experience, training and resources. The maximum embargo allowed by legislation is six months, except when previous agreements are done with uh, publishers. And five years embargo allowed the maximum for data. In the case of Argentina, the implementation of the national policy is responsibility of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation. 
They have invited an expert com experts committee which had the responsibility to draft the legislation, to adapt the international standards, make definitions, prepare guidelines, and today the experts committee approves the requests for financial support from the ministry and makes recommendations for the improvements of the proposals. All digital repositories, institutional repositories that are accepted in the national system of digital repositories can benefit from funding, from training and technical support. This national system is part of the activities for the Open Access Week of the National Harvester and the participation in La Referencia and COAR. In last year gathering of 23 countries at UNESCO Consultation on Open Access, we have recommended for both the green and the gold road of open access that shared and cooperative alternatives are prioritized more than an APC model for countries where APCs many times are equivalent to several months salary of a researcher, taking out of research budgets amounts of money much needed for research. This regional strategy is in line with the Latin America Regional Open Access Declaration issued in Bahia, Brazil, nearly a decade ago, where a call on all stakeholders in the international community was made to work together to ensure that scientific information is openly accessible and freely available to all. But at that time, the region did not imagine that a new enclosure was ahead, this time from within open access, with APCs, Article Processing Charges. Recently, I have seen the announcement of an Open Access International Congress in Asia, anticipating, I quote, to discuss open access publishing as a global industry with key focus on Asia as an emerging market." Closing quote. So that is what we still are, interesting markets to sell products. Why can't we build upon the 70% of open access world journals which do not charge APCs and open access digital repositories? It is the responsibility of the global scholarly community, funding agency and governments to make numbers, estimate costs of a global business models with APC journals. It is irresponsible to go forward with no global numbers. Waivers is not a long-term solution. So here are some of our present challenges in the region, mainly the tension between local and global, the needs for participating in quality open access developments, and changes, changes in the way we evaluate research output. Here, the opinion of a senior researcher from Flaxo, Ecuador. He is a specialist in urban development and was counselor of Quito. 
He wrote 12 books, edited 22 books and wrote more than 250 journal articles. It is Fernando Carrion. He said last week, Today, academics from Ecuador try to walk under the journal's culture that will have little impact on the knowledge of our reality and, instead, will have high impact aimed at satisfying external markets and personal egos. How could the global scholarly community take back ownership of scholarship communications to build a global participatory and inclusive ecosystem of scholarly communications managed as a commons. We need to think who is being included and who is being excluded in the scholarly communication systems we design, as John Wilinski recently said in Poland in a meeting about open science. We do not know yet how open access scholarly communication will look like in the future, but we can promote from now on a knowledge commons approach. To manage open access within the scholarly community as a commons may be less utopian than thinking that we can cover the cost of a global APC model with full participation of developing regions. In developing regions, we have basic health services free for the citizens. We have basic education services free for the citizens. So we can secure basic open access free for users, free for publishing. How to build it through research, interoperable, digital repositories at institutional, national, regional, international and thematic level. On top of that, paid value-added services can be organized by publishers, journal portals, mega journals, epi journals, data portals, impact services, etc. Our congratulations to Columbia University Centers for Digital Research and Scholarship, part of Columbia University Libraries Information Services, for being a key player in building the North America Shared Access Research Ecosystem, which is a building block for this concept of global open access as a commons.